coast of Madagascar in the teeth of a terrible typhoon at the mercy of the elements. Waves 90 feet high swept the decks and swamped the cargo. One moment I was looking up at the skies, the next I was staring straight down into David Jones's locker. I spliced the main base, but it made no difference, so I unspliced it again. I shouted, stand by the lifeboats! But we were pitching and tossing so much, nobody could stand anywhere. Worse was to come. The first mate rushed up to me. We've lost the mast, he cried. Then the ship rolled, and we lost him. It was a terrible time. And there was I, lashed to the wheel for 40 days and nights with nothing to eat but ship's biscuits and a chore backy till the storm subsided. And believe it or not, that was how I saved the crew of the Annie Lorry from drowning like rats. Well, I never. You're very lucky, anyway. Yeah. Yes. How about the cargo, Ben? Got ruined, didn't it? Uh, ruined? Oh, no, no, no. It was worth twice as much. How's that? Well, we, uh, uh, you see, we were carrying a cargo of uh, dried peas. And the seawater swelled them up so much that, uh, well, we sold them as olives. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Jim that story about the Daisy Bell. Yeah, but the Daisy Bell? Uh, oh, oh, yes, Daisy Bell. Yeah, so that, that was an experience. We were uh, 85 days out from Plymouth with a cargo of barbed wire and, uh, uh, and oranges. And, uh, we, uh, oh, well, uh, what about another round? <coughs> huh? All right. Same again. Hi. Fill them up. Right. As I was saying, we were 35 days out from Plymouth. We'd had a, quite a nice voyage. And on the 3rd of September, we were lying off Valparaiso. Is this the one about the gun running? Yes. You were lying off Santa Cruz? No. Valparaiso. Santa Cruz. Valparaiso. I say you were lying off Santa Cruz. I say we were lying off Valparaiso. You were lying Who's off... Who's doing the lying, you or me? You are. Right. <laughs> Albert? Hello. Come here, come here. Good old, good old, good old, I don't know where I was. Well, I'll show him. Yeah, you've heard me tell the story of, uh, about the gun running? Dozens of times. Yes. Oh. Well, uh, where were we lying off? Valparaiso or, or Santa Cruz? Well, the last time we told it, it was Panama. Right. Oh, oh, was it? Oh, see, you're, you're wrong. You're, oh, you're wrong, it was uh, Panta Cruz. Uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Panama. Uh, Panama. Panama, you see? Uh, come here. Well, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we were lying there, and uh, with our hatches off, our anchor down, and our bottoms up. Bottoms up? Uh, what? Oh, oh yes. Oh, good help. Cheers. Good help. Yeah. That's funny. What? It's one left over. Yeah. <coughs> That's the third time today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he always manages to wangle one or two with himself, you know, during the day. Letter for you, Ben. Oh, for me? Yes, for you. Oh. Hey, look at that clock. What's the matter with it? Well, it's ten minutes past closing time. Look at it. Do you want me to lose my license? Time, please. Come on, come on, fellas, come on. Come on, come on, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come Come on, help clear up, can't you? Well, I've got to read my letter. You can read it when you've cleared up these glasses. Yeah, it's about time you did something. You shut up and clear down that counter. Mm. If you think I'm going to keep you here in idleness just because you're my brother, you're mistaken. Oh, I earn my keep, don't I? The, all you've done since you came here to stay for a weekend six months ago is to sit in the bar drinking and telling yarns. You and your sea stories. Well, you can't even remember to turn the customers out when it's closing time. Listen, before I came here with my sea stories, there weren't any customers to turn out. Yes. Uh, well, here's somebody that does appreciate me and my sea stories. Read that. Dear Captain, having heard of your wonderful experiences at sea, I have a little plan I would like to discuss with you. Would you have tea with me this afternoon at 4.30? Yours truly, Oliver Potter Porter. Mm. For three days, we raced along neck and neck. On the second day, the icebergs caught us up. But before I could do anything, they crushed the ship to matchwood. Oh, whatever did you do? Well, uh, well, I did the only thing I could do. I ordered the crew to rig up the masts on the ice, and we sailed the iceberg safely back into port. <laughs> what a remarkable adventure. Mm, wasn't it? Yes, I don't suppose it ever happened to anybody before or since. Well, as a matter of fact, that's why I invited you to come along here. You know, I take a great interest in our local sea scouts. I thought it would be a grand treat for the boys if, if you'd come along and tell them a few of your actual experiences. Yeah, well, uh, I'd love to. You know, I shall enjoy hearing your adventures too. I simply love the sea. It's in my blood. Is it? Well, I feel that way about it too, you know. I shall never get used to living on land. No, I'm, one of these days I shall pack my bags and be back off to sea. 
just the way my grandfather used to talk. He was a sailor too, you know. Rear Admiral Sir Potter Porter. Oh. Is that the old boy? Mm-hmm. <coughs> That's his sea chest over there. He left it to me as a legacy. There are all his things just as he left them. Would you like to see it? Yes, yes, I'd love to. <laughs> well, come along then. Yes, yes. Rather heavy, I'm afraid. Oh. <coughs> there we are. You know, I really ought to be ashamed to admit it. I don't know what half of them are for. For instance, now, what's this? What do you use it for? What, this? Hmm. Oh, uh, well, that's a sort of, um, uh, a, uh, well, you see, in the olden days, they, uh, it was difficult to, uh, mm -hmm. they, they more or less, uh, they, uh, you see these things here? Yes. Well, there was, oh, is that his telescope? Oh, yes, I know what that is. Ah. Yes. <coughs> Pardon, madam. Mr. Yates. Oh, thank you. Excuse me while I speak to Mr. Yates. Uh, he's my partner. A partner? Yes, we own a shipping line, the Green Star. Oh, thank you. Another legacy of my grandfather's. I see. Hello? Oliver, I just called you to tell you the Rob Roy has finally docked. And I've sent for Captain Shaddock to find out why he's nine days late. All right, I'll come straight along. Yes, I know this isn't the first time he's been late. Yes, but he may, he may have a good excuse. Well, he'd better have. Goodbye. Go right in, Captain. Well, Captain Shaddock, what is your excuse this time? Well, same as last time. Do you realize you're exactly nine days late getting home? I'm lucky to get home at all. What do you mean? Why, that ship is entirely unseaworthy. Oh, I know she needs a little attention, but uh, she's not as bad as all that. You'll find out how bad she is when she comes up for survey. What gave you the idea she's going up for a survey? Well, she's due for it on the 23rd under Lloyd's regulations. Well, according to our regulations, she sails to the West Indies on the 20th. Oh. And who's taking her out? Why, you, of course. Not me. Why, Mr. Yates, that ship hasn't got a sound plate in her. There isn't a decent bearing in the engines. Why, she's a coffin ship. Am I right or not, Mr. Marriott? Well, I can't exactly say. I... It's hard for me to tell you, but... You, you know, know as well as I do, that ship isn't fit to sail. That's for me to decide. The Rob Roy sails to the West Indies on the 20th, whether you like it or not. I don't like it, and I'm not going to take her out. All right, I'll get a new captain. That suits me. I wish him luck. He'll need it. Tell me, is she really as bad as that? She's pretty bad. I don't think she'll pass the survey. But I'll take her out, sir, if you give me a chance. I got my master's ticket and all. It's a big responsibility. I know that, sir. All right, now I'll discuss it with my partner. Thank you, sir. Hello, George. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. If you give me this chance, sir, you'll never regret it as long as you live. You know, after I all, know. I've had 20 years at sea, right. man and boy. I'll do all and I, I know can. I've been on the horn three times. All but right. you'll never regret it, sir. If you'll just I give know. me this one time. I'll do all I That's can. That's all I know, right. sir. Just give me this one time. <laughs> well, where's Captain Shaddock? Oh, well. Uh, he, he's not with us anymore. Not with us? No, no, resigned. What in the world for? He's been talking about it now for quite a long time. And he's a pretty old man, you know. It's a little awkward at the moment because I've arranged for the Rob Roy to sail on the 20th. Hmm. But well, what are we going to do? The first mate's just asked me for the captain's job. What do you think about it? Well, it's a bit of a risk, isn't it, with an inexperienced man? Oh, we might do worse. He's been with us for quite a few years, and good captains are hard to find. I know a good captain. Mm -hmm. Who? Captain Ben Cutlet. Ben Cutlet? Yes. Never heard of him. Oh, he's a very famous sea captain. He's had years of experience. I think we should give Merritt a chance. After all, I do know him. Listen, Captain Cutlet's giving a talk to my sea scouts tomorrow. Why not come up and meet him before we make a decision? All right. Splendid. Gentlemen and boys of the Seagull Patrol, it is with great pleasure I introduce to you a sea captain whose life has been crowded with adventure, Captain Ben Cutlet. Do you mind? Thank you, sir. 
<coughs> Mr. Mayor, Mr. Potter Porter. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, and boys of the Seagull Patrol. Well, as the Mayor has told you, I've, uh, I've had a lot of adventures in my time. And uh, some of them happened so long ago that I've uh, practically forgotten all about them. I, I mean, I've forgotten all the details. So I think I'd better tell you one of my most recent experiences, one that's still fresh in my memory. It was in the, uh, the winter of 94. We were bowling along in a very high wind. In fact, the wind was so high that the, uh, the bottom sails weren't getting any wind at all. Oh, what in the world is he talking about? Blood if I know. So I gave orders to the crew to hoist the bottom sails up to the top. And uh, unfortunately, the braces had come undone and uh, down came the sails. If you ask me, I don't think he's ever been to sea in his life. Yes, well, <coughs> there we were in the good ship, Mother McCree, helpless and at the mercy of the waves in the China Sea. And bearing down on us was a Chinese junk, full of pirates armed to the teeth. Not a small junk, mark you, not even a medium-sized junk, but a very large junk. It was fully 400 feet long, had four masts and five decks. Now, what do you think of that? That's a lot of junk. Yes, yes, it is a lot of junk. <coughs> well, I could see there was only one thing to do, and I did it. And that's why I'm here to tell the tale. How would you like him for your captain on the next trip? Just a word of advice. You wouldn't let him take out the Rob Roy? Yes, why not? No lifelike. Now listen. If anything happens to a ship, the captain takes full responsibility, doesn't he? Yeah. Has to answer all questions. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't like that to happen to you, would you? What do you mean? And if there are any questions you would care to ask on practical seamanship, I feel sure that Captain... Uh, I feel sure that um, the captain will be only too pleased to answer them. Won't you, Captain? Uh, uh, yes, 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 of course. Oh, yes. How do you tie a short sheep, Shank? How do you tie a what? A short sheep shank. Uh, a short uh, sheep shank? Yes. Oh, well, uh, well, it's funny you should mention that because I was once on a ship that uh, we went ashore off Shanghai. How do you tie a short sheep shank? I'm coming to that. As I was saying, we were, we were lying a shape off shore high and everything was, uh, was sheep shape. Uh, we were lying a, a shank off sh sheep high and everything was shank shape. <laughs> we were lying a sheep off shore on a short shirt of Shanghai. What is it you want to know? How do you tie a short sheep shank? Oh, well, one question at a time. <coughs> now, the question is how to tie a short sheep shape. Sheep shank? Well, anybody can tie a short, uh, a short sheep shank. Um, if I had a piece of rope here, I'd show you. But, um, unfortunately, there isn't any... Uh, Here's the rope. Isn't any lying about... Uh, well, show us. Uh, uh, oh, well, all right. That's... <coughs> uh, now, you start like this, you see. First of all, you tie what is known as a knot. Now, just hold that, will you? That's yes. right. That's right. Now, here we are. Now, you just pull that. Now, give me this head. Uh, will you come here and hold it? Don't pull it too tight. That's it. You hold that part, and you hold this. You see, now... Sounds okay to me. All we have to do now is to get him signed on. Oh, that's where you rub against it. If that old windbag is as big a liar as I think he is, he wouldn't dare sign on. I thought of that, too. And that's where you come in. That's right. Go easy. Go easy. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Oh, I in the morning. Oh, in the morning. Oh, in the morning. Oh, Put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on him. Oh, I in the morning. Short sheep shank. Oh, well, if it ain't me old shipmate, Captain Cutler. You remember me, don't you? Jim Marriott. Jim Marriott? Yeah. I was your first mate on the Mother McCree. What? Mother McCree? Yes. Eh? You remember when we were chased by them pirates? Pirates? Well, surely you haven't forgotten about the junk, have you? What junk? What, the Chinese junk? The... Oh, oh, that junk. Here we are. This is the place. Good. Those were the good old days, Captain. Don't you wish you were back at sea again? Standing on the bridge of your own ship, with the wind blowing through your hair? 
with the lives of every soul on board in the hollow of your hand? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, I do. I certainly do. Well, do you know, for two pins, I'd pack up and come back to sea tomorrow. I would? Uh, nothing like it. Why, when I was a youngster sailing round... Uh, oh, hello. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm awfully glad to hear you say that, Captain. Say what? That you'd like to go back to sea, because that's just what I've come to see you about. Now, this is Mr. Yates, Managing Director of the Green Star Line, uh, Captain Cutlet. Oh, uh, how, how, do you do? how do you do? Uh, how do you do? How do you Mr. Do? Yates has something he wants to talk to you about. Oh, oh, well, won't you sit down? Oh, thank uh, you. Oh, 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 well, here, sit here. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, come on, get, get over there. Uh, sit down here, will you? Uh, will you sit there, sir? Uh, yes, thank here, you. Go on, over there. Right. Sit there. Thank you. Yes, well, uh, would you like a drink? Um, no, 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 thank, thank you very no, much. No, no. <laughs> Well, what can I do for you, sir? Well, as a matter of fact, Miss Potter Porter and myself have decided to offer you the command of one of our ships. Hey? Yes, the Rob Roy. I understood, Captain, you were anxious to get back to the sea. And here's your chance. Well, uh, What's up? They're going to send him off to sea. Good. Well, uh, what do you say? Uh, well, of course, it's a wonderful opportunity, isn't it? But, uh, you see, I, uh, I haven't got my, uh, my instruments or, or my charts. Uh, they went down on the, uh, on the Rosemary. Oh, don't let that worry you, Captain. I shall be only too pleased to make you a present of my grandfather's sea chest. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Uh, of course, that would help, but uh, I'm still in a, in a difficulty. You see, I haven't got my master's certificate. You haven't? Uh, uh, no, no, uh, that went down too. And of course, uh, a captain can't sail without his master's certificate. Can he, Mr. Yates? Well, no, no, it certainly would be a little awkward. Begging your pardon, sir, but if you want someone to vouch for Captain Cutlet, I can. I sailed with him on seven voyages. How am I, Captain? Uh, is it that many? Yes, seven. That should be satisfactory, Mr. Yates. Yes, it suits me. Then we'll call it settled, Captain. <laughs> you sail on Thursday. Hooray! Drinks all round on Captain Ben. Hooray! Cool. off for the jug, isn't it? Oh, look, look now. It's funny, Ferris, is it? Here's his dinner can, look. All rusty, too. Oh, no, it ain't. Look, it, it, it's a pretty tip for it. It's so old as well. Yeah. Yes. Ah, more. Cool, nice. well sold. I don't suppose you'll want to take this with him. <laughs> Lummy, captain of a canal barge. The old liar's never seen the sea. If they see that, he won't be skipper of the Rob Roy very long. No, and we'd lose a good chance of getting rid of him. Get rid of who? You. Oh? Who is? We are. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. You're as good as gone already. Yes, a man of your experience would think any ship afloat. Hey, 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 you want to be careful. You should remember there's many a true word spoken in jest. Oh, that's all right. I'll put up a nice little memorial for you at the end of the jetty. And I mustn't forget to take out some insurance on you. Can't afford to miss a chance like this to pay off the mortgage on the pub. Yeah. Yes, well, that's just where she's mistaken. You see? I'm not going. What? What? I'm not sailing. You've got to. You can't get out of it. Oh, yes, I can. And you two are going to help me. Not me. Nor me. You mean tell me you'd stand by and see me make a fool of myself? Why not? We're used to it. Oh, I... You've got to sail. Or everybody in the village will know you're a fake. Uh, listen, Jerry, you know I've never been to sea in my life. What on earth would I do on a, on a big ship like this? Tie a short sheep, Shane. Yeah, that's enough from you. I've, I've stood about enough from you now. Uh, uh, come on, Albert. Come and be a good boy. Listen, will you help me? Well, what do you want me to do? Well, listen. Just as we're about to start... You dash up on the bridge and give me a telegram. Who's it from? It's, uh, it's from my aunt in Glasgow to say she's dying. Is she? No, I haven't got an aunt in Glasgow. Well, how can she send a telegram to say she's dying? It's, it's part of the scheme, you see. I open it and I say, stop, hold everything. I can't sail. Why not? Because my aunt in Glasgow's dying and wants to see me. But you haven't got an aunt in Glasgow. I know the telegrams are fake. Then why send it? Because if my aunt in Glasgow was dying and wanted to see me, I couldn't sail, could I? No. Well, there you are. That's it, you see. Now, all you've got to do is to come up and give me the telegram. You can do that for me, can't you? No. Why not? Because I've got to be with the Sea Scouts to see you off. Well, why don't you say you've got to see me off, then? Idiot. Listen, will you do it for me? Yes. You will? Yes. Well, then, this is the idea, you see. I'm on the bridge, and when you hear me shout, all visitors ashore, you dash up and give me the telegram. All right. See? Mm -hmm. Think you can do it? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I think we'd better practice it. Eh? Uh, you get out of the way. Go on. You go over there, you see. Yes. And I'm on the bridge, you see. Yes. Hey, ready? All visitors ashore. All visitors ashore. Telegram for you, sir. All visitors... What? Telegram for you, sir. Oh. Good heavens, it's from my aunt in Glasgow. She's dead. Yeah. 
How do you know? I heard you tell him. Yeah. Oh, would you believe... What can you do with an old fool like this? And take that off and don't mess up with... understand each other before we go any further. There's only going to be one captain on board this ship. Where is he? I beg your pardon? Where is he? Well, uh, well, here he is. I'm your captain. Oh. Yeah. When I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed immediately. Or else, um, well, or else... Uh, or else what? What's that? Or else what? Well, uh, well, or else I, uh, I should have to give the order all over again. That'd be a lot of talk for nothing, wouldn't it? And, Captain, here's your first mate. Oh. Welcome to the ship, Captain Cutlet. Be like old times sailing under you again. Again? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, yes, it will, won't it? Yes. Uh, well, boys, we've got a long trying voyage ahead of us, so I think you'd all better go down and have a nice cup of tea before we sail. Run along now. Come on, Clarence. Let's have a nice cup of tea, dear. Come on. Nice boys, aren't they? Yes, aren't they? <laughs> Tell me, Captain, what's up there? Up there? Yes. Oh, oh, that'll be the, um, uh, uh, let's see, the way to, uh, uh, well, let's go and have a look, shall we? I'd love to. So this is where you'll be spending all your time. Well, uh, <laughs> Not all the time, of course. Unless it's rough weather, then I, I won't be able to leave the bridge. I have my bed made up in the corner there. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> oh, what's this? That? Oh, that's, uh, uh, that'll be, uh, uh, well, it's rather different from the type I've been used to. It's, uh, uh a tanker box. Uh, an imskip. Oh. Yes, a very good one, too. Oh, uh, I see. And what's that? This? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's not, uh, very difficult to explain. It's uh, uh, a sort of... Oh, you see, uh, uh, this works the whistle, you see. <laughs> yes, you watch. <laughs> yes, because that's... Uh, I've not had that on other ships. I've always had a button about, uh, about there. You see, you push the button. <clears throat> it's a much, uh, much better system and more up-to-date. Goodbye, Captain, man. Good luck. Oh, are you going? Oh, no, 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 you didn't go yet. Any time. But you gave the signal all visitors ashore, didn't you? Did I? Oh, yes, of course, I nearly forgot. Yes, uh, all visitors ashore, please. Well, I hope you don't get too much rough weather, Captain. Oh, I, I don't mind if it's rough weather. Oh, bless your life, I, I, I like it rough. Much rather have it rough than smooth, you know. It uh, gets a little bit too monotonous if it's smooth, yes. <coughs> all visitors ashore. Come along, Olive. No, no, not at you. You didn't go yet. Come back. Plenty time. Don't go away. Uh, all visitors ashore. All Oh, no, no, thank you, same to you. Oh, no, 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 no,
told him to. I did. Well, you tell him the cops on again. But we're ready to sail. Yes, well, I know they're ready to sail. We, we sail when I say we sail, and we don't sail at all. Well, that's where we sail. All business is a sail. All business is a All business Can't you see what, Captain? Oh. You don't give orders to let go out or shall I? Oh, you let go out. Top, 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 top. All business is a All business is a shore. Better than right around. Will you give orders to let go out? Oh, when I'm ready. All business is a shore. All right, if you want, I shall. All business is a shore. Well, stop the ship till it turns to green. Aye, aye, sir. Well, Captain, what does it feel like being back at sea again? I bet this is stirring up old memories. It's stirring up lots of things. Would you like me to take over now, Captain? Would I? Not half. Oh, 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 would I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you think you can manage without me till sometime tomorrow. Oh, sure, that's all right. You can rely on me. Oh, good. You're going to turn in? Yes. <coughs> Tell the captain to his cabinet. Oh, yes, sir. Here. Here's a telegram from Glasgow. Well, of all that. Go on, open it. Well, what are you going to be opening it now, you old fool? Never tell you. Aren't I the better? You know jolly well I haven't got an arm at all. You used to give me that before we sailed. Now, thanks to you, I'm six hours out at sea with a ship on my hands. I don't know where I am or where I'm going. I'm as sick as a dog. Oh, shut up. Well, what are you doing on the ship? I'm a starway. You're a what? A starway. How am I? But you can't stow away on my ship. Only in my cabin. Only in my bunk, too. Come on, get off this ship at once. We will not. You will? If you don't, I'll have you thrown off the ship. You wait till I call the mate. You call the mate and I'll show him this. You can show him anything you like. You think you're going to come in... What have you got there? Just a picture of you on the bridge of your last ship. Give that to me. Not on your life. Oh, no. That's our return ticket. You give that to me, or I'll, I'll knock the stuffing out of it. Oh, no, you won't. You better be nice to us. Why should I? Do you know what happens to a captain who hasn't got his master's ticket? Uh, no, no, what? What? Read it to him, Gay Ma. Yeah. Well. In accordance with the Merchant Shipping Act, 1894, Section 92, it says, the penalty for the captain taking command of a ship on the high seas without his master's ticket is six months imprisonment. What? Uh, where, where, where did you say that? Yeah. 
Six months. Oh, dear. Now you see what you've let me in for, don't you? Why, why didn't you give me that telegram and stop me getting into all this mess? Because we wanted a nice little sea trip. Yes, now you leave us alone and we won't give you away. Well, you couple of dirty crooks. Ah, oh, shut up and go to bed. Night-night. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Well, 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 where, where am I going to sleep? On the floor. Yeah. On the floor? Well, I like that. This is my own cabin and, and you expect me to, to, to sleep on the, on the floor? Oh, see? <coughs> Thought you'd done it on me, didn't you? Yes, well, you haven't. See? Sleep on the floor. Yes, I'd watch it. Put that light out. All right, all right. Give me a chance to get in. Well, hurry up. Come on, put that light out. All right, all right. One bell. One bell, sir. Call the watch. Yes, what is it? One bell's gone, sir. Gone where? Just gone. Oh, what a pity. Well, go and get another one. You came on this ship without any help for me. You go and find your breakfast without any help. And get out of my cabin, the pair of you. Go on, get out. I don't want either of you. Come on. Bells have gone, sir. What, eight more? Yes, sir. Well, if it goes on like this, we shan't have any left. Where's Mr. Marriott? Up on the bridge, waiting for you, sir. Well, you tell him I'll come up and see him straight away. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Aye, aye, sir. Oh. Morning, sir. Sail west by south. Take little starboard helm. Sail west by south, starboard. Morning, sir. Morning. Oh, here. Is that right? Eight bells have gone? Yes, sir, and your watch. And my watch? Yes, sir. Here. You say somebody take my watch? No, sir. You take charge now, and the second mate will leave you at noon. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. <coughs> How's that? So I ask myself. Keep her steady as she goes. Aye, aye, sir. <coughs> uh, what was you looking at there? Of course, sir. Oh. What, what did he say to you? Ask me how her head was. Oh, well, how, how is it? 
Saw west by south, sir. Oh, hmm. Do you know where we're going? Yes, sir. You've been this way before, I suppose, have you? Yes, sir, many times. Ah. Oh, well, then, you ought to know your way, then. Yes, sir. Back to straight course. Oh, very good. Well, just um, keep it going straight, uh, straight ahead for the time being. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. What are you doing in my cabin? We're friends with the captain. Yeah. Oh, you are, are you? Yeah. We'll see about that. Come on, get out of it. Come on, you two. Shoot out. Come on. Can't you keep that thing still? Well, I've got to see the ship, haven't I? Yes, but you can see the ship without wobbling that thing about. No wonder the ship was all over the place last night. I've got to keep it on a course. Well, it's a straight course, isn't it? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Well, then, keep the thing in one place and hold it there. Don't, don't fiddle about with it. Don't miss about so much. What's the matter with you? Do you think you're driving a milk cart? Look, Captain, see what I found. A couple of stowaways. Oh. <coughs> what do you want to do with them? Well, uh, I suppose you know you could get into very serious trouble for doing this? Yes, we've read the Merchant Shipping Act. Oh, have you? We know the penalty for coming aboard without a ticket. Uh, oh, do you? Uh, what? Oh. Uh, well, uh, as you plead ignorance, of course, uh, I suppose I can afford to be a little lenient with you. So I put them to work? Uh, well, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't object to doing a little work, would you? Well, if it's not very hard. Leave it to me. Hey, Bolson! Get these two men some work. Aye. Come on, get up. And it better be easy work, too. Yeah. Hey, what's the matter with that weight? Huh? Hey, hey, give us some help. What the devil are you doing? I'm obeying orders, sir. Whose orders? His. He told me to keep the wheel still. Oh, I, I, I didn't say anything of the kind. I said keep the, keep the ship still and go straight ahead. Don't you know how to keep a ship on a course? I do, but he don't. That's for being disrespectful to the captain. Yes, let that be a lesson to you. Come on, get after us, Captain, before I knock seven bells out of you. Captain, will you take the wheel and I'll send you another man up? I tell him, obeying orders. He sucks me right on the jaw. For what? Doing as I was told. It's going to be trouble if it's... I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Well, what are you with me for at all? I was right. I know you were. That mug of a captain doesn't know what he's talking about. I know that too. So I may as well tell you now, he's never been to sea before in his life. He's what? Why, he thinks we're on our way to Norway. Norway? Yes. What's he doing on this ship, then? I'll tell you that later. In the meantime, treat him as captain, but you take your orders from me. Wheel before he turns that turtle. Aye, aye, sir. According to the noon position today, that's where we are. By noon tomorrow, we should be in the right spot. Hey, boss, get the men together in the forecastle. I want to talk to them. Aye, aye. I'll be sure the captain and his stowaways don't get wind of it. Aye, aye, sir. Look here, boy. How many times I tell you to keep your hands off my radio? Well, I was only get, go on, get out of here and get them taters for you before I knock you flat on a pancake. Go on, get out of here. Come to my cabin right away. Huh? I want to talk to you. Come along to my cabin. Here. How far is it to Norway? From where? From England. To Norway? Yes, how far is it? I don't know. Well, why do you say so? Do you know how far it is? Oh, about 300 miles. Is that all? Yeah. Well, do you realize we've been at sea for nine weeks and we haven't seen any land, never mind Norway? Maybe we passed it in the night. 
Don't be silly. How could you pass a thing like Norway without seeing it? Isn't Norway up north somewhere? Yes. Well, don't you think this climate's a bit hot for Norway? Yes, but what are you worrying about Norway for? Well, that's where we're supposed to be going. Is it? Yes, I don't think we're anywhere near it. Well, you're running the ship, you ought to know. Yeah, but uh, that's the trouble, you see. I, I think there's something funny going on. What do you mean? Well, I think that after I tell them which way to go, they all can go somewhere else. I don't think we're going to Norway at all. Why don't you ask the mate? No, I don't want to do that, because uh, if I did, he'd think I don't know where I am. Well, you don't know, do you? No. Well, I don't want any this from you. I may not know, but I'm jolly sure I'm going to find out. Come here, where are those books of that school atlas of yours? There they are. Right. Now, wait a minute. Now, let's get some paper and pencil. We'll work this out. Yes, sir. I'll work it out, too. All right, here. I'll take a bit of paper. Right. Now, uh, we've been at sea for nine weeks, haven't we? Nine weeks tomorrow. Eh? Nine weeks tomorrow. Well, nine weeks is nearly enough, isn't it? Nine weeks. Now, which way have we been sailing? Yeah. When we came out of the harbour, we turned left. Yes, that's right. We did. We turned left. That's, uh, that's nine weeks to the left. Yeah. See? Nine weeks to the left. Now, uh, see, how many days are in a week? Seven days a week. Nine sevens will be, uh, uh, 84. 63. Huh? 63. Six, yes, yes, 63, that's right, yes. I was, uh, I was forgetting the Sundays. <coughs> that's nine, six, 63 days, uh, 24 hours in a day, that's, uh, 24 times 63. 24 times 63, Uh, 28, 6, what do you make it? Uh, 782. No, 1512. Is it? Yes. Oh, what do you make it? 1512. Yes. Do you? Have a look. Well, you've got nothing down here. No, I did it in the head. You did it in the head. 1512. How fast have we been sailing? Oh, I should say about uh, 30 miles an hour. No, we haven't been doing more than 20. Well, let's split the difference. Let's call it 25. Yeah. That's, uh, 1,512 miles, hours, 25 miles an hour. What do you make it? 37,800. Right. Yeah. Yes, that's, uh, right. Now, what do we do now? We've got to find out our latitude and longitude. How do we do that? First, we've got to find out where the sun is. Oh, well, where is the sun? It's up there. All right, well, the sun's up there. So you put that down. Now, that's, now it's, uh, 37,800 multiply, uh, divided by the sun up there. How can we divide by the sun up there? Well, I don't care which way you do it. One way is as good as another. What time is it? Half past four. Half past four. All right, well, we'll multiply by 4.30. That's 37,800 by 4.30. Four, uh, what do you make it? 16,254,000. Cool, aren't we a long way? Yeah. Eh? 16 million. Huh? Well, now, where's that tape measure? There's one. Here we are. Come on, we'll soon find out where we are. We'll reckon a thousand miles to the inch. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, in England. Is that England? Yeah. Cool, isn't it? Small. Mm. All right, well, hold that. Now, there we go. Dig it round. Oh, my finger. Oh, all right, I'll hold it. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Now, get hold of it. Yeah. That's right. Take it round. Go on. Take it round all the way. That's right. Well, according to that, we're about three and a half miles from Birmingham. Oh, it can't be right. We haven't got off the boat. No, we haven't, have we? No. No, that's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, here's something we forgot. It says here, the meridian circle of 180 degrees longitude, east or west of Greenwich, is known as the date line. Ships crossing this line from east to west must drop one day from their reckoning. Ah, there you are. See, that's where we went wrong. Mm -hmm. We should have dropped today, and we didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll drop one now. Yeah. Go on. Let's, uh, let's drop next Thursday. Well, no, can't do that. Why not? It's my birthday. Well, you ought to be glad. Drop one of your birthdays makes you a year younger, doesn't it? No, I shan't get any presents. Oh, all right, we'll drop next Wednesday. Wednesday's half day closing anyway, so it's all of the good. Uh, that's, uh, uh, how many days this month? 30 days to him, April, June, August, and, and October. All the rest of 29, except uh, which has only got three Wednesdays, because we dropped one for him. So that makes it, uh, Four, eight, Listen, I think you'd better go and ask the mate. Uh, what, me? Yes. What, what did I say? Well, listen, don't, don't let him know that I don't know where we are, you see? But tell him that next Thursday's your birthday, and you'd like to know just about where we'll be, because you want to give a party, see? Yeah. Go on, go on. Yeah. Uh, and you go back to work, Albert. All right. Mum's a word. 
After we've done that, we'll put the starboard boat out of commission, get away in the port boat. Edmonds, you look after the starboard boat. Aye. Coven, see there's grub and water put in the port boat. Dawn, we'll send the SOS. Open the sea cocks, scuttle the ship, and down she goes. Are you trying to tell me that we're to leave the captain and the two stories on board? Sure, you don't think we're going to take anybody back to give us away, do you? Oh, it's a bit thick, that, isn't it? I don't mind standing in with you on the other, but I'm washing my hands of that bit of it. Ah, oh, we look after that all. I heard you, I heard you, and I'm going to tell Captain Ben. Take him on time up. Take him out. Captain Ben! Come on, Captain Ben! Captain Ben! So you, you turned mutineer too, did you? No, I was only pretending. Pretending? Well, well why'd you leave us stand up here all night? I couldn't get away. Couldn't get away. You get the men up, and I'll tell the engineer to open up the sea cops. Aye, sir. You all right? Mm -hmm. 
Come on, hurry up. Get these things up. How much time will that give us to get off? Oh, well, an hour or a wee bit more. Good. Go ahead. Oh, hey, what, what, what's all this about? What, what, what's happening? They're going to scuttle the ship and leave you to sink with it. Oh, are they? Yeah. Ah, well, we'll see about that. Where is everybody? They're all in the folks that set the mate and the engineer. Good. C come on, come on. That settles them. Yeah. Now for my friend, Mr. Marriott. Mm.
Ihnen die Heide. It's not lunchtime already, is it? Well, according to my stomach, it is. Is it? Well, turn that thing out. Let's see what we've got. Water. Oh, I'm glad you thought of that, anyway. Well, what have you brought that thing for? I thought we might be able to send out an SOS on it. Well, you can't send out an SOS on that. It's a receiving set. Then perhaps we can receive an SOS. What's good is that to us? We've got enough troubles about that without trying to pick up somebody else's. Yes, we have. Yeah. Well, go on, let's have a look at the grubs. Well, where is it? Well, I put it in. Well, it's not there now, is it? No. Well, that is a nice state of affairs. I mean, here we are, 3,000 miles away from land and not a bite of grub. What are we going to do? Well, I've got a little. Have you? What have you got? A few biscuits. Well, fetch them out. Don't hide them. Oh. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Well, that's not going to last us very long, is it? No. Well, come on, we'd better ration those out. I can't do that. No, you won't. You haven't washed your hands. Give them to me. I'll do it. Oh, go on, then. One for you, and one for you, and one for me. A two for you, and two for you, and one, two for me. Three for you, three for you, and one, two, three for me. Wait, wait a minute, you've got a lot more than we've got. Yeah, I think he's cheating. No, I'm not. You saw me count them. Oh, hey, well, there's something funny about this. Go on, give it to me. I'll deal them out. Hand them over. Here you are. Come here. There's uh, one for you, there's one for me, and one for you. There's two for you, two for me, and one, two for you. There's three for you, and three for me, and one, two, three for you. Now we know they're right. Hey, hey, what have you got there? Nothing. Well, give it to me. No. You, you, you've got a biscuit there. What, you little, you, you little pig, you. Give it to me. No, it's mine. Yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Now, ah, we'll, we'll divide this up. See? Where's that axe? Hello, house babe. 
For this week's cookery talk, I have chosen a particularly appetizing meal. We will start with a rich cream of tomato soup and follow this with lobster in aspic and thick mayonnaise sauce. For the main dish, we will roast a duck, a nice, a fat Aylesbury a duck, a stuffed with sweet chestnuts and served with wine and jelly. A place the bird in a slow oven, a girl, and let it remain until it assumes that delicious shade of golden brown, basting it from time to time with the rich brown gravy from the dish. A dip, a sprinkle, a dip, a sprinkle. What a delicious aroma. It must be almost ready. Star, there it is. All sizzling hot, done to a tarn. Doesn't it make your mouth water? What do you do that for? Well, you know, Mr. Hayden, it makes me hungry on my hands. A rarely succulent dish, and so easy to prepare. A dish should be served with a generous helping of clotted cream, and followed by biscuits, ripe camembert cheese, celery, coffee, fruit, and nuts. And the same to you! Poor Captain Ben. Well, there's one consolation. It's well covered by insurance. How can you talk of insurance when poor Captain Ben is probably lying at the bottom of the ocean? Get down like Norwegian, do you? No. no. Get up in there. Get in there. Get in there. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, gentlemen. I can explain all this. You see, uh, I'm Captain Cutler. Captain Ben Cutler. Uh, and Captain Ben Cutler. Uh, and uh, uh, my two friends and I, we've been thrown off our ship. Uh, we've been uh, scuttled, scuttled, uh, uh, sunk, you see? And uh, we're... Um, uh, we're, we're just looking for the place uh, where we can get the... Uh, can you tell us a way to Norway? Oh, here So 
Well, good. Now for the old man. What's he say? I think he said hello. Where from? How come? Cool. He speaks English. Yeah. Here, yeah. uh, where you learn English, old chap? Me father, him meet good missionary. Missionary, him good meat. I mean, they ate him. Me big chief Tanawana Walker. Who you? Oh, I'm I'm big chief. Um, uh, big chief. Uh, this is Radio Luxembourg. Uh, we now continue. Big chief Fox Radio Luxembourg. Who him? Him? Oh, he's uh, he's old chief uh, uh, weather forecast. And this is uh, little chief backstock prices. Voice and box. Me. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, voice and box him belong me. You no touch him. Him taboo. Voice and box him say you me pal. Pal? Yes, friends. You oh, friends. Yes. Friends. It's worked. <coughs> Looks as if we're going to be all right, isn't it? Uh, yes, just as long as these batteries hold out. Oh. Place you got around here. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, what? Hey, Sambo! Radio. Radio. Hey, hey, what's all the noise about? What do you want? Don't know when I walk out. I'm going to talk to you. Don't know when I walk out. Oh, he wants me. That's all right. I'll have to tell you to finish that story when I come back. Well, well. Huh. Well, look what Santa Claus has sent me. Ah. You better run along home. I'm going to be busy. Good morning, Mr. Marriott. Welcome to Norway. Well, gentlemen, we meet again. Ah, good meat. Plenty meat. Yes. <coughs> what? What does he mean? Well, uh, <coughs> looks to me as though you're in the soup. You wouldn't let him do anything like that to your old shipmates, would you? Well, I've got a faint recollection that my old shipmates scuttled my ship. It wasn't my fault. I was only acting under orders from Yates. What's that? Well, you see, Yates wanted the insurance. And he only engaged you as captain because you don't know nothing about the sea. Who don't know nothing about the sea? I got here before you, didn't I? Wait, wait, wait. Walla! Walla! Uh, first, we'd better ask Voice in Box. Good. Bring Voice in Box here. Uh, uh, no, no. Voice in Box, you no speak uh, strangers. You, me, go. Karamaka. Selakaka. Trenkarweb. I'm there. Be right back. Now we ask Voice Box. Hmm. Voice Box, him very angry. Hmm. Me angry too. No, 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 not angry. No, angry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Yes. Oh. United One. Sheffield Wednesday Two. Manchester City Two. West Bromwich Albion Three. Chelsea Five. Oh, fancy Chelsea won. What Voice Box say? Something very unusual. Oh? Uh, he say, uh, 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 he said that uh, this is very serious matter. Uh, these men. Uh, very bad. Oh. 
He say, um, uh, he, he say, um, uh, look out the window. Look out the window. Look out the window. Look out the window. Derby County One, Charlton Athletic One. Good gracious. What are we going to do? Uh, uh, be quiet. Uh, voice and box him talk. Uh, Chief, voice and box him say, him say, want talk you all time. Talk you long time. Must have lifted in on the same car that brought us. It's Rob Roy. Sure it is. Yeah. Now we can get away. Yes, yes, we can. Yes. Voice and box. Talk, talk, talk. What do you say? Him say, bad men belong him. Stay here, no good for you. Voice of Box, send big ship, me take bad men away. He say no. Bad man stay here. Southern section. Bristol City 3. Look. Voice of Box, send big ship. Say Moscow. Brighton and Hove 2. Clapton Orient 2. Bristol Rovers 1. Voice of Box, say Moscow. Watford Mill. Mr. All right. South End United 2. Drinking Town 1. Bournemouth Mill. Good. Well, uh, I'll take the wheel now. No, I want to steer. Well, you've had your go. It's my turn now. But you don't know how to steer. Well, I can learn, can't I? No. Oh, come on, come on. No bad matter. Come, come here. What are you playing at? Get out of me. My ship. I know the way better than you do, too. Look there. Fireworks. 
Fireworks where? There. Oh, yes. It must be the Crystal Palace. Don't be silly. Crystal Palace is in London. Might be Blackpool Illuminations. Girl, we're nowhere near Blackpool. You have to pass Spain to get to Blackpool. Well, very like that little island we saw yesterday was Spain. Here, let's go look at the chart. Yeah. Jerry, come here. Take the wheel and keep it on her course. Which way are we going? Uh, oh, up there. <coughs> well, here, you see that star? Yeah. Well, keep going straight for that star. All right. Come on, Albert. How much longer are we going to stay on this sand bank, Captain? I don't know, sir. I'm doing my best to get her off. But we may have to stay here until help comes. Another rocket. All right, sir. Straight on, we're bound to hit somewhere. Yeah. Look at That's all your fault. We're coming off the bridge. Well, let's go see what's happened. the ship. It is. Well, Captain, I hardly know what to say to you. I don't know how you did it. It was the most extraordinary piece of seamanship I ever saw in my life. Hey? The way you shoved us off that sandbank was remarkable. I doubt if you even damaged the paint. It was a real Nelson touch, sir. Ah, well, of course, he was a good sailor, too. <laughs> <laughs> I shall see that there's a suitable reward for you and your crew. Well, as a matter of fact, I haven't got a crew. Except us. Well, well, yes, well, except these. Because I've had to lock them all up. I've had a spot of mutiny. Mutiny? Yes. I'm not in this ship practically single-handed. Oh, well, in that case, I'd better transfer some of my crew over to you. Well, would you? Yes. Oh, yes. that's very kind of you. And while you're about it, you might send somebody over that can navigate this ship. Uh, well, what I mean is that, uh, see, I haven't been to bed for a week. <laughs> Quite a crowd out there to welcome you, sir. Is it? Well, uh, I, I think I'd better take the wheel now, if you don't mind. Certainly, Captain. Stand down, Collins. All right, sir. Thank you. It's a very tricky channel, this, you know. <coughs> oh, oh, don't go away. Don't, don't go away. I'd like you to stay here till I get us safely in. Mr. Yates? I am why. We want you. Pardon me, you're four. Oh, for about two or three years, by the look of it. Come, come on. Listen. Come on. Hold it. Four. Watch your head, sir. Watch your head. Huh? Watch your head, sir. Starboard. Oh, 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 no, no, starboard. Oh, dear. What a pity. What a pity. 